What is up, folks? It's Mark with Launchpad B, and I'm coming in today with another ClipChamp tutorial. Today's video is being inspired by another one of our viewers. So, Lee Yu, the best, the second, is asking, Hey, Mark, can you make a video on how to zoom into the screen like you did over there and refer to the main image and gray the rest of the background like you did in the following timestamp 13? Now, this is what it looks like, and it was on one of my most recent videos, uh, and it's pretty cool. Now, the short answer is ClipChamp is not designed for this. I actually edit in Premiere Pro. Um, I know it probably goes against the whole basis of ClipChamp, um, but it's just faster for me. Uh, and I do these ClipChamp videos um, for folks out there that are just getting into videography and are just, you know, just trying to figure it out. Uh, and ClipChamp is very easy to use for some very basic stuff, but um, I went ahead and decided to attempt this because number one, ClipChamp's not designed for it, uh, and I'm down for a challenge. Now, I'm gonna provide two solutions. The first solution is working only with ClipChamp, and it's not gonna be pretty. The results will still get the effect you're looking for, but it's not gonna look amazing. The other option I'm gonna show a little bit later in the video is how to create an animation in PowerPoint. Now, I use PowerPoint a lot. I know I'm, I'm always plugging that, um, but I'll actually show you how to do it as an animation in PowerPoint. It's not gonna look exactly like it did in Premiere Pro because PowerPoint's not designed for that either, but it'll give you a better effect. Now, this video might be a little lengthy, uh, so if you are interested, watch along, uh, and if you just wanna check out the PowerPoint thing, just skip ahead to that. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and open clipchamp.com. Now what I'm gonna do is I've already done a screen capture uh, of the screen that I just showed a second ago with the comment from Lee, I already forgot his name, sorry. Um, so this is the clip that we have here. Now the goal we're looking for is to start wide and then I'm gonna move forward a couple frames uh, and I'm just gonna clip here. And on the second one, I'm just gonna grab it and I'm just gonna zoom all the way in uh, and we've got it zoomed. So that's one option. You go from big, boom, to zoom. Pretty simple. Uh, if you want to gray out the other area, what I went ahead and did is I added a, a gray square here. It's just a gray image I created. And I'm going to drop it in right where it basically cuts to the zoom. So let me go ahead and make sure we got this lined up. I'm going to go wide, zoom. There we go. Perfect. So now that I've got it there, and I've actually created it as a transparent. Now, um, I did that in PowerPoint, which is a gray square. Move the toggle switch to transparent. Um, but you do have the ability to adjust opacity here. So if you just use a gray square by itself and drop it in, no problem. So now that I've got this dropped in, I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter so it's easy to work with. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reposition it where I want it to be. So I'm gonna go and just drag it to create a, um, kind of like a frame around it. Now. It's not gonna be pretty again, like I said, but it, 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 it's a means to an end if you wanna do this in ClipChamp. Uh, so let me go ahead and duplicate this, air, this area and I'm just gonna do another spot. And again, transform, crop to fill, click on it and I'm gonna drag this. And when I'm doing this, I'm being very careful not to overlay these grays. You see how there's a little gap there? Uh, the trick is, is to get them right on top of each other where there's maybe a tiny bit of overlap so it's not as noticeable. And again, we're gonna duplicate. Boom, there we go. And again, I'm gonna transform, crop to fill, grab the clip, and I'm gonna, again, drag it to where I want it. So again, you can kind of see where I'm going with this. It's not gonna win any awards for amazing editing, uh, but it will create what you are looking for, which is essentially a way to zoom in and in a way to, to kind of crop out what it is you're looking for. So let me go ahead and finish this out. Here we go. And for this last one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna resize it and make it fit without losing it, hopefully. So bear with me, this is not a perfect science, but I'm just looking to resize it where it fits perfectly in here. Good enough. And I'm gonna drag it on top. Now I do encourage you, you know, tinker with this, find what you're looking for. Uh, so basically what we have now is you're gonna go this way, play, boom, and now it just, it just jumps right in. Again, it's not pretty, but it, it gets the point across. Now, if you wanted to like, let's say animate the whole zoom in thing, um, we can try to do that. Let me go to move this out of the way. And uh, let me grab these layers here. Shift, and I'm just gonna grab them all, and just drag them, and line them up. Now, one thing I wish ClipChamp did have uh, is a snap to feature, like a magnet feature like you have with Premiere Pro or other software where it automatically will line these up. Uh, it doesn't have it for some reason, um, but it'd be nice. ClipChamp, if you are listening, please do that. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna make this clip larger. And, and if we wanna do like a zooming effect, we would literally have to go frame by frame. 
Um, so what I need to do here is I'm gonna zoom as far in as I can go, which is this is here. Uh, and if you go one frame and you try to clip here, it's not gonna let you. Uh, clip Champ for some reason doesn't let you cut frame by frame. So we have to go two frames and then we can cut. Once you get the cut, we're just gonna zoom in a little bit and then we're gonna go again, two frames, one, two, and we're gonna cut here. And then we're gonna zoom in a little bit more and we're gonna go two frames and then we're gonna split and then we're gonna, now see I can't, I can't grab the, the playhead so now I gotta grab it over here, zoom in a little bit. And I'm just gonna keep doing that until I get to what I'm looking for, clip. And again, zoom in a little bit, very repetitive, right? Uh, and we're just gonna keep going like that until we get it where we want it. Split again. And I don't know if these are the correct ones, so when you go to put the gray bars on it, just make sure you um, basically do that after you do your zoom in. Let me grab all these clips here. Let me go ahead and bring them back together here. Oh, we don't want that. There we go, boom, boom. And again, so now uh, what we've done is we've created a zoom and it's gonna be very choppy. Again, it's not gonna be very neat. Um, but we're basically going in like this. Boom, okay? So, so that's the option you have. That's all you can really do with Clipchamp. Again, it's not pretty, um, but it is possible to do it by working around it. So now I'm gonna jump into the version on PowerPoint. And again, I use a lot of PowerPoint. So what we're gonna do now on PowerPoint is I went ahead and I made a cutout, or I took the image here and I imported it into PowerPoint. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use the animation feature that PowerPoint has. So the first thing we'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to duplicate this layer here. So Control C and Control V, boom, we dropped it right on top of itself. So now we have a duplicate of it. Uh, and then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna crop this. Now, uh, the way we're gonna do this, I'm just gonna go to crop and I wanna crop it as close as possible to what I am looking to highlight. So this is the first step here, boom. Whoops. And there we go. So now we have a crop. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a animation to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one image here. I'm gonna go under animations and then we are going to use a uh, effect that is called grow and shrink. So I'm gonna select that there and you see how it's enlarging for me? That's exactly what we want. Let's play it again. Boom, and it enlarges, okay? So that's the step number one. The next thing I'm gonna do is as it enlarges, I want it to move towards the center of the screen. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the animation pane and I am going to add an additional animation and this time I'm going to add an animation here. Custom path, and then I'm gonna take it, I'm just gonna draw a straight arrow to the middle. Boom, that's it, that's all we need. Enter. And so there you go. It moves a little bit, but that's all good. So now we're gonna play them together. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna go larger and then it's gonna to move towards the center, okay? Boom, so we're, we're kind of in process already. So now we're gonna go under the options for the animation here. And I'm gonna select start with previous. We want them to run at the same time. So now when we go ahead and hit the play button, it's gonna do this and move to the center. So we, we're pretty much there now, right? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a gray to it. So the way that we're gonna do that is again, I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna draw an image, a shape. Here we go. And it can be any color. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna select gray. And then what I'm gonna do under shape fill is I'm gonna go to texture, more textures at the bottom, just to get to this menu. And I'm going to increase the transparency. There we go. So now we're gonna go back to the animations Oh, but, and before I do that, what I need to do is I need to bring this to the front. Boom. Okay, you guys still tracking with me? I know I'm doing a lot of stuff here. All right, so that's what we want and we're going to add an animation to this and we want this to appear. Okay, uh, and let's go to the animation pane and the appearance of this rectangle here. When do we want it to happen? We want it to start with the previous and I'm gonna add a slight delay here. Uh, and the timing will be, let's delay it by maybe a half a second. Let's do one second, let's see how it looks. Uh, and let's go ahead and push play and let's see how the whole thing looks all together. Boom, it goes in and the background grays out. So now we've basically created the animation that we are looking for. Uh, the other thing we need to do now is we need to screen capture it when it's in the center because if not, it's just gonna like go and it end for you. So uh, what I'm gonna do is once it hits dead center, I'm gonna knock out a screen capture. So let me go ahead and play all again. Here we go. 
right there. And I'm gonna screen capture this. And I'm using Snagit, and I basically hit Snagit right as it hit dead center. And I'm gonna highlight this, and we're just gonna call it screen capture. Save. Okay, so now that we've got the screen capture we want, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna export this animation as an MP4. Save as to my desktop, so it's easy to find. We're gonna call it Clip Champ Capture 2, just because I already did one earlier as a test. And I'm gonna select from the options here, MP4. And we're gonna go ahead and save that. And at the bottom of the screen there, you can see that it's saving it as an MP4. Uh, and we're almost done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this into Clip Champ. So let me go ahead and start a brand new project here. And uh, let's go ahead and import our video. So the first thing we're gonna import here will be the animation. And then the next thing I'm gonna capture is the screen capture. I'm gonna bring it in. Awesome. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drop the animation in here. Okay, so let's take a look at how that looks. Let me go ahead and push play. Uh, and now it's gonna go ahead and zoom in and it's gonna give us our capture. So that's the best we can do with PowerPoint. Now, if you wanted to linger it here for a little bit longer, we could drop in the screen capture that we did and uh, it will just continue to play as a screen capture. So in a nutshell, that is how you could create an animated zoom in with a gray background. And again, I am using PowerPoint or you can do it with clipchamp.com. You've got a couple of options uh, to do it from and I hope this is what you're looking for. I hope you have PowerPoint. If not, you're gonna have to go with the option from Clipchamp. I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. Uh, I will continue to take requests. If there's anything you wanna know how to do in Clipchamp or anything I can try to hack in Clipchamp, let me know. Uh, and I also am asking for support. Make sure that you do subscribe to the channel. If you do enjoy the video, find it helpful, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions or if you just wanna give me some props, go ahead and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.